this scene right here in the series Silo. These two Jakes, they twins. One is a one, one is a girl, one is a boy, they 12 years old. And um she's um the series has to do with post apocalypse. And then I think, you know, they went back to the ancient. Everything was so destroyed from nuclear warfare that those that survived, they started reliving, but they didn't have no clue or no idea what was in the past. So they didn't know about the cell phones, airplanes, etc. <clears throat> so this is hundreds of years later on Earth. And now the girl, she's um she's reading. See the thing was they lost vision. At this time in the earth, everybody couldn't see they were blind. And you got to see this series because, you know, with the spiritual eye, you know, the eye salve that Yahweh has given us through the scriptures. We see how in the movies they, you know, Amalek, he'll put the truth in there, but he'll twist it. But at this time, the earth and the people, they couldn't see. They couldn't even talk about seeing. They were all blind at this time. The plague that hit the earth, whatever plague, you know, contaminated the earth, the people lost their, their, their eyesight. But these two, there's a, there's a man, he was a Jake, though, they true. Uh, now I want to. I don't want to go too much into it, but he was able to see. But everybody didn't think they thought he was a witch, but he wasn't. You know, he knew of the truth, just like us, the prophets, the men of the Lord. People look at us like that like we're crazy, you know, or we're a cult. People call us cults or whatever, but we're speaking the truth. So in this movie, their father, which they don't even know who their father is because they was raised by this other man. So, you know, I don't want to go too further in, but they didn't know nothing. So that this is a message that was written down from their father for them to read when they turned 12 years old so they could have some understanding. But they can't believe it because this is a woman told them the truth about their father and they can't believe it and she's reading she's reading the message you know and I want you to pay attention to what she's going to say Let's, let, look look maybe we're witches maybe the story is about vision or truth no I have the truth in my hands Soon I will know, and you will not. Okay. Once upon a time, almost all humans had the power that you have. She's talking about vision. Human beings use this power and the power of their minds to conquer the world. Machines that could fly. Airplanes. Machines that could fly. Airplane. Now listen to what she's going to say next. Machines that could speak across thousands of miles. Telephones. The internet. Listen. They even left the earth in giant. See what she said? They even left the earth in giant ships. You see how you saw does this thing? But see, we'll take these nicks and crannies through the spirit. 
And, when, and this is prophecy because it's the Lord that's going to come back. Yahweh Shai is coming back with those chariots and them huge ships to deliver his church, his first church, and the one third in the mixed multitude. All right? She said they even left the earth in giant ships. See that? Hey, this is a good as a series I told you how to recommend. I recommend y'all. It's called Silo. Look for it. Call all y'all by Shim Yao Shai. Shalom, shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And um just want to show you brothers through the spirit, you know, this series right here called Silo. And um, you know, it's a real good, it's a real good uh, must see, you know. Um, and uh this Jake girl right here, she's um explaining to his brother, she's reading a message from her father, you know, that was promised to them when they turned 12 years old, you know, to learn and what happened in the past. Okay, and um, you see, she says, um, given only to chosen people with an instruction to build the world again. So already there was a, a nuclear warfare destruction post-apocalypse destroyed everything and um so bad that um you know there was no sign of uh existence of evidence of you know how the previous world functioned you know we got our cell phones airplanes trains technology well that nuclear warfare destroyed all the evidence and these people, they submerged, they survived. But, you know, they lost their eyesight. But these two, they were born with a gift. They were twins, and they were born with a gift. And, um, you know, in the, uh, and they were able to see. And they're the only ones that's able to see, but the rest of mankind, they can't see. You know, and she, she's going into that the gift of light was only given to the chosen to rebuild the new world again. You know, um, sounds similar, right? Because the scriptures tell us that the light is Yahweh Shai, this truth. And those chosen is the elect. The Heavenly Father through his son, <clears throat> pre predestinated the elect from the beginning to be all righteous. And those sin men are going to be the government body of the new world to come. As the scriptures say, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the one that followeth. But it starts with our Lord Yahweh Shai. So you understand how Amalek gets down because... The majority of you Israelites out there, you so-called Latinos, so-called Negroes, Blacks, Native Americans, you'll watch these movies for entertainment. You know, and, and these devils, they'll put these messages right in front of you, but they know you don't understand. But we, we've been given that spirit, the eyes out, to see right through these movies, you know, we can dissect these movies through the spirit and through these scriptures that the Lord has given us, the prophecies. <clears throat> okay, and the chosen people, let's get um, Amos 9, and I'm going to start at verse 11. And that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. 
and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom, and of all the heathen which are called by my name, said the Lord Yahweh, that doeth this. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the tread of grapes, him that soweth seed, <clears throat> and the mountains drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. And I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel, and they shall build away cities and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land. Which have which I have given them, said the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai. Okay, and as you see, the title up here says the future rest restoration of Israel, but it starts with the tabernacle of David. Okay, the first church. Those are going to be with Yahweh Shai in the new world, a world of righteousness. Okay, through the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Shai. <clears throat> Second Peter's three. Okay. <clears throat> Verse thirteen. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. You know, and that's why in the movie she says, given only to chosen people with an instruction to build the world again. And that will be the elect. The Israelites were ruled in righteousness with our Lord. Okay, the scripture said, let's get Revelation um, 11. I think it's verse 14. <clears throat> or 15. And the seventh angel <clears throat> sounded. And there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord. And of his Christ, the anointed, and he shall reign forever and ever. Okay? So this world is what you're seeing at the moment. You're seeing a transition of power. And you're seeing the downfall of an empire, Babylon the Great, Esau's kingdom. His reign is about to be over on the planet Earth. But there's a new world. That's coming a world of peace and righteousness with the sons of God ruling the planet Earth. Okay. Start with our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, and this is why in the movie she says, given only to chosen people with an instruction to build the world again. And that instructions start with these scriptures, these commandments, okay? Starts now. This is why we constantly stress you to uh, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself spiritually. Okay, like the book uh, uh, instructions. Let's get um scriptures coming to my head right now. Uh, Proverbs. I think that's Proverbs eight. Is it eight or no four? Let's go to four. What the four? Proverbs four. Here we go. Yep. <clears throat> Let's go. Hear ye children, a father's instruction, as you see the title, okay? Hear ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding, for I give you good doctrine. Okay, let's go and let's highlight that. <clears throat> for I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law, all right? And this father will be our... Our father, Yahweh, he passed down this doctrine. But the scripture said, um, uh, Yahweh shall say this doctrine is not mine, right? Let's get that real quick, doctrine. Okay, what's that? Uh, <clears throat> let's go to John 7 and 16. Let's go to the book of John, chapter 7 and verse 16. Okay. 
There we go. Let's start at verse 14. Now about the midst of the feast, Yahweh went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? Yahweh answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. All right? This is why you read in Proverbs 4 1, which is Yahweh Shai. If you could receive it, see this connection now through the Spirit. Hear ye, children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding, for I give you good doctrine. What doctrine is that? The testimony of Yahweh Shai. The doctrine of Yahweh that was given to his son, his begotten son, the testimony. The blueprint of the universe, the blueprint of the understanding, knowledge, the blueprint of the elements, the blueprint of life itself. The heavenly father, Yahweh, passed down to his son. And then Yahweh Shai has shed that light. Remember what the, 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 the girl said in the, uh, in the movie? That light, okay, this instruction, for I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Okay, so now you connect the dots. <clears throat> this is why she says, uh, given only to chosen people, the elect, with an instruction to build the world again. And this is what we're looking forward to through faith. We believe the prophecies and the scriptures because we've been given faith. Okay, as much as you know, the doubt demons attack you, you rebuke them, okay? The scoffers, you know, with their unbelief, Scripture says, Second Ezra 15, what does that say? Uh, <clears throat> let's get that real quick. Verse 1, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And that's your Bible. That's our Bible. You know, we're out there in the highways. We're giving people warnings. You know? Verse 3, this is the point. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee, man. All right? It's all right. Because this was only given to the elect, the chosen, to build the world again in, in, in righteousness, start with our Lord. Okay, Yahweh is ready to reign on the planet Earth once again, but now forever and ever, as the scriptures say, in righteousness. Because if you can receive it through the Spirit, He ruled for 40 years in peace, you know, the, the, uh, and when He was Solomon, King Solomon. You know, you had the other nations under his footstool, you know. Even the Queen of Sheba traveled to uh, to hear the wisdom of Solomon, <clears throat> you know. And that was a prelude. That was a foreshadow on what's to come, all right? And we're getting closer and closer to that. So, yeah, we're suffering. You know, as Scripture said, uh, the, uh, he's, he has worn out the saints, you know, but our end of this captivity is almost over, and we just got to keep the faith and ask the Lord for the endurance. Let me see if it's a little bit more here. To chosen people, with an instruction to build the world again. I am your father, and I have passed this gift on to you. It is your duty to make use of it. Okay, that gift is this truth. Because even in the book of Ephesians 2 and 8 it tells you that faith is a gift. All right? And this truth is a gift. It's very precious. All right? Because we see other other men in Israel, how they botch and uh, perverse and misinterpret this word, this truth, because it wasn't giving them the whole truth. But the water, Yahweh, Yahweh, to our elders, you know, this is why we give double honors to our elders up in the apostles of Great Millstone. 
because we can see through the spirit that the heavenly father is dealing with them. All right, the spirit is dealing with them. And um, we're learning from great men. And all we got right now is the law of faith spoken in Romans chapter 3. All we have is hope. And we pray that to the spirit, you know, that you brothers and sisters that see this lesson, you'll be edified. But it show you, man, you know, hey, this devil Amalek, man, he put the truth right in front of you. And he's always been doing this. He's always been doing this. But now... The Lord has given us the eyes of, and I'm going to continue to watch these, this series. I mean, <clears throat> I'm sorry. You know, I have to correct myself. This is another, um, this is another series called C S E E. You know, the other first one I told you brothers about was silo. Check those out. And I'm going to continue to watch this one. And, um, you know, Maybe in the future, little little scenes and little information I can see through the spirit. I'll make a quick lesson again. I start making lessons off of them, you know, feed and land back off of these move of these series. So all praises to you. How about Shem Yahushua, Lord? Well, this was edifying to you, brothers and sisters. Um, <clears throat> Shalom.